Hello, my name's Keon, and right now I am a firefighter for South Wales Fire and Rescue Service. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about my history. So, um, as a young man, I went through quite a traumatic period of my life, where I lost quite a few members to, of my family to suicide. Um, this was happening as I was leaving the end of my school years. So, as you can imagine, that hit me quite hard. Um, I found myself going down a very destructive path. Um, I left school with not much to go off. Um, I didn't complete college. So, when it came to the start of my working life, I really didn't have anything to go by. Didn't have any G. Well, I had some GCS. I didn't have any MVQs, didn't have anything, any college qualifications, anything like that. So, I was in a, a kind of a rut, to be honest. Didn't really have anywhere to go. Uh, didn't have any, any any qualifications that I could put my name to that would get me a job. Um, so I looked down the route of volunteering and youth programmes. And I got in touch with the Prince's Trust. The Prince's Trust helped me quite a lot. I'd done a few programmes with them. I'd done the Enterprise programme where you helps you set up your own businesses. Um, I didn't actually go through and complete a business plan and open up a business but the know-how of what to do if I ever did want to do that was it, it was the best thing ever. I also did the team program which was a 13 week development program which gets you doing building uh, team building activities and working with other young people you do a lot of work out in the community and um, it's, it's a really good program to get you to a place where you think you were ready to get into a work or to a job um, since then, I've had quite a, a, an array of jobs. I've been a youth worker. I've been an international volunteer. I've worked for companies like Rally International, representing at quite high profile events. Um, I've worked for corporate companies. I've worked for EE. I've worked in the private medical field. I've done such a vast array of jobs. And to be honest, I still don't know now where it is I want to go in life. Um, like I said before, as you can probably see, um, I currently am a firefighter for South Wales Fire and Rescue Service. And I love it. Um, I'm an on-call firefighter, which means I do it in my spare time. Um, my full-time job is I am a solid dose technician for a private pharmaceutical company, um, which basically means we help make drugs. Um, for people with cancer and other and other illnesses and diseases, um, getting into this was was kind. I kind of fell into this, to be honest. Um, but since I've been working for the fire service, it's given me such a sense of feeling in my community. It makes me feel like I'm doing something positive, whereas. In a lot of my other jobs, I haven't really had a lot of responsibility. I haven't had um, anything to really say, you know what, I've done well today. Um, with the fire service, when I go on a shout or when I come back from a shout, I know that I've done good. I know that I've done something good for my community. Um, currently, all over the UK, all pretty much all stations are recruiting for on-call firefighters. So if it is something that you ever wanted to look into, if you do get paid for it, um, it's definitely something to look at. It does pass the time and it's a great way to... I'm quite new to the area. Me and my partner only moved here a couple of years ago, so it was a great way to meet some of the local people, meet, meet some of the boys who, who live, the boys and girls who live local, local um, and to really make a difference in your community. Um, but the one thing that I want everyone to remember is that no matter where you are in your life, what is going on in your life there's always a silver lining and i am the proof to that um i've come from rock bottom to the best that i can and to really loving and waking up every day feeling valued and feeling that i can go ahead with the rest of my day without having to look back and think about stuff that i've done previously thank you